that edge and there's a mix up here this could be out oh it's always oh, dropped the ball or did it hit the stumps he'll need to see this replay if the ball hit the stumps i think gilchrist is out if it didn't then he may well have just got away with it now gilchrist thinks he's okay he's walking down the pitch to have a chat to ponding this will be interesting salia what do you think um Karvitan hasn't been able to really take it clearly we won't be able to see it from this angle uh, see the ball down there and see the batsman in so i think uh gilchrist is uh safe Yes, he's dropped the ball for a start. Have a look at the ball. Goes out of his gloves. That's bad way keeping. It's down on the ground, out of his gloves. He then hits the stumps. Then the ball hits the stumps. But in any event, the bat's got uh, over the line. So, a little bit of excitement there. And uh, Gilchrist has survived. He wouldn't have known that the ball uh, actually went down onto the ground like that. But you can see his gloves here hitting the stumps, breaking the bales before the ball got there. And the bat is in, in any event. You see... Uh, with Arna getting excited, dropping the ball. Well, he's going to have to watch the yeah, problem. That's yeah. the problem with the light. He's given it. I think he's made a mistake there. Well, I think he's pushed the wrong I button. Think pushed the wrong button. I really am uh, not too sure about uh, what really went on there, Tony. Because uh, it is very, very clear to see that uh, Chris was safe. Right in. The ball was... Uh, when the ball did hit the wicket, the bat was in by... either way from Tendulkar. So here Khan, once again, getting into it. The corridor of uncertainty has to be his big fist. And it's straight off the edge. And that's a brilliant catch. It did go pretty quick, didn't it, Shiva? That, that, that was always the big question. If it hit the pad, it would have been slow. That's just a regulation, Nick. Was the batsman trying to indicate and what a poor decision this is? Big outside edge. Catch it! That's it. Yeah! Could be out. We're asking the question. Yes, he's gone. The end of a magnificent innings. Going for the full shot on 192. Kuma Sankar has given out court. This will be an interesting replay. But what an innings. Doesn't look all that thrilled about it. I don't think he's got 192 off 282 balls when they're trying to save the game. Pretty remarkable strike rate. He hasn't even got close to hitting that. It's hit him uh, off the arm and then onto the helmet. No wonder he wasn't too thrilled with the decision. There he is. You must be joking. Yes, that's a disappointing end to one of the all-time great knocks here at Bell Reeve Oval, and he should be annoyed. That was a shocker. He don't criticise umpires very often, but he was nowhere near it. Hit the shoulder onto the helmet, the end of a superb innings. And it's nine for three, six, four. Well, Clark gets the wicket. But uh, when you're that close to a double century, would have been three out of four knocks. Let's have a good close look at this. He's looking for the full shot. There he goes. Nowhere near it. Unless there was a faint under edge, but it didn't appear to be so. There it is now. It's a close. I don't think so. To me, as though he is through too quickly with the shot. He's finished the shot, and then the ball went past the bat. Well, he's given him. I don't think uh, initially he got near it. I don't think Flintoff thinks he did either. But Doug Cowie has given it, flint off his cross, and we'll soon see who with. Well, I mean, our initial reaction was he didn't get anywhere near the ball. I mean, like two or three inches. 
Sam is absolutely nowhere near the ball. <laughs> oh, that's close. Too much bounce. Too much bounce. It nipped back. Oh, he's given him. Oh, no. That's a dreadful decision. That is a dreadful decision. He didn't play a shot. He allowed the ball to... Well, it, I mean, the truth of the matter is I don't think he anticipated the movement back off the seam, but there was no way that was going to hit the stumps. That's his third duck. Have a look at this. <laughs> He's in trouble here. I think he's gone, and I think Saruman knows it. This idea of not running for a misfield has been abandoned a long time ago. I think uh, Zimbabwe here think they've got their man. Well, has he been given not out? They haven't gone upstairs, I don't think, Faris. The umpires have not called for it. There was definitely an appeal, and I think they might be told, this is unbelievable. Unbelievable. Catch! And just to rub salt in the wound. Oh, something is absolutely wrong here. Well, they can't believe it quite, quite correctly. There was an appeal. The question was asked by Zimbabwe. I think it's the umpire who did not go upstairs. And, and that is the thing about technology. There's the appeal. Deon Ryan has a look around, still no Billy, still no Billy, Billy goes for a wonder, Deon Ryan ambles through for a single, he comes back into position, does Billy, and up goes the finger! The crooked finger of doom. <laughs> you see Mitchell Johnson there, he could not believe it. <laughs> he thought, well that's it, look close, it's been turned down. <laughs> oh great delivery, wonderful delivery, and he's given him out! Oh boy, he's going to have to be very sure that that's hitting the stumps. It hit very, very wide outside the off stump. He, mind you, he was standing on his crease. Allowed it, uh, or didn't play a shot. The ball ripped across uh, from that really dark patch outside off stump. Billy Bowden paused for it for a, for a while and then gave it out. Have a look at this. Where's that come from? He's bowled sliders, he's bowled wide, things that have been getting through to Gilchrist. There hasn't been spin like that in this over or this match. But Warren produces it. Have a look at it. He's given the umpire a good look. I'll bet it's cleaning them up. No, it's not. Great bowling by Warren to trap a man back on his crease for 119. The outside portion of the bat, that's when Adapadu will come in handy. Oh, it's gone to first slip. The bowler thinks he's got him. Justin Lang is turning around as if to say, well, what are you appealing for? Jay Warden is the fieldsman. He thinks it's a regulation dismissal. And so does the bowler. Well, it certainly hit something to get through to the man at first slip. Justin Lang looked to me like he was leaving the ball alone. I get the feeling it's flicked the bat on the way up as he was trying to take the bat away. Definitely flicked the bat. A late decision to leave the ball go. The catcher thinks he's caught at the kick, and Langer stays. Controversy, top end, session one. Well, I've got to say, I can't get over the reaction from the Sri Lankans to start with. Jay Widener, he feels that he has caught the ball, cleanly caught the ball. Now, Vask wasn't overly confident, but he can't tell. It'll be very difficult to tell in your follow-through. There was a reaction from second slip, worried me. Keepers confident enough. Sankakara there on the right, he's happy enough, that's one for none. The man on the left, the man at second slips, not all that sure. And it's that doubt it means that Justin Langer has remained. And I'm with you, Ian Healy, I think that's a clear dismissal. Another one past the outside edge, well, Langer survived, I'm not really sure how, probably because of the reaction of the Sri Lankans.
Exactly, and you're not supposed to give dismissals and decisions on the strength or the weakness of the appeal, that's for sure. The umpire has ruled here that it hasn't carried. Hopefully, of his own volition, his own decision, not on the reactions or non-reactions of the Sri Lankan players. Third slip's a worry too. This is the first hour of a test match. You better be all over that. You want to break through this Australian top order, you can't be lethargic in your appealing as they were. Oh, gone. Caught behind. Steve Davis. I certainly heard a noise, a sound. Hafiz can't believe it. Yes, Yunus Khan also. Well, it could have been all over for Sangakkara. He wasn't on strike, but the last man was on strike. Have a listen. Caught behind. Clearly a sound inside edge, a big deflection. Adnan Akmal was off. Steve.